Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Poor Man Mods. Today, um, actually, this might be a three-part video, so I'll have a link in the playlist for this down below. But today, we're going to be upgrading the brakes, upgrading the brakes on the Legacy. So, I'm going to be doing stainless steel brake lines all the way around, upgraded performance street pads, and upgraded slotted rotors. Now, some people will say that doing all this will help your braking. Some people say it won't help your braking at all. The only way to truly get better braking performance, as in making a shorter stopping distance, is to get bigger brakes, like four piston, six piston calipers, larger rotors. <clears throat> Some people say upgraded pads aren't gonna do anything. Some people say upgraded pads do a lot. So what we're going to do in this three-part series is we're going to install brake lines, pads, and rotors on my Legacy and we're going to do a 60 to zero testing of each part. So I already have a stock baseline 60 to zero, which I will show right here, which was 114 feet. And um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to install the braided brake lines, just the braided brake lines, and see if that helps the stopping distance. So we're going to be starting off in the back, we're going to do the braided brake lines in the back, then bleed them, and then do the front, and then bleed those. I don't feel like doing all four, and then bleeding all four. Um, you can do it whichever way you want, but I just don't feel like putting the car down, back up, and all that. So do the rear two, bleed them, front two, bleed them. But it's also important to note that all the information or evidence that I find in this video, um, it's just going to be for your interpretation. I'm not going to tell you whether these brake parts or upgrades are worth it or not. I am just going to do the research and see what evidence we come up with, but I'm not going to tell you whether they are worth it or not. You can form your own opinion. So let's get this wheel off and do the brake lines. And you got the clip. And then, out with your stupid, shitty hose. Grab your new line, and install it onto the hard line first. Then tighten it with a 14 millimeter wrench, but don't over tighten it. Once again, these are easy to break. You want me to keep the rolling? Yes, definitely locked up more this time. Am I still recording? Yeah. Oh, okay. So last time I don't remember the ABS engaging at all, and that time it was very noticeable that the ABS was not looking good. 117, so three feet further. I mean conditions are always different. Uh, three like even my reaction time could have been a three foot difference, so. I'm gonna say that the braided lines didn't help improve the stopping distance. Uh, it's three feet further, which I'm not gonna say they hurt it either because conditions are different, you know, it's a completely different temperature, weather, and I think I might even have a little bit more fuel in the car, so it's not 100% exact, but there obviously was no definitive gain or benefit or shortness in the stopping distance but the ABS did lock up a lot more so now let's go install the brake pads and see if they do anything okay so we're back at the shop just got done doing the 60 to 0 test with the braided brake lines my theory on that is there's more power getting to the brakes which enabled the ABS to lock up because there's more power getting to them which the ABS locking up made us stop a little bit longer but I think if we were able to come back that traction issue, like if we had wider tires or race tires, we might stop shorter because we had more power and the ABS wouldn't be locking up. But this is a street application, so the braid aligns didn't really help. So now we're going to do brake pads. We're going to be doing stop tech brake pads. And I actually talked to an engineer, goddamn phone, 
I actually talked to an engineer at StopTech when I ordered these pads, and I told him what I was doing. And he told me that doing uh, performance pads such as these StopTech race pads, he said they're not going to help improve the stopping distance because your car can only stop as short as the ABS will let you, which I'm kind of seeing that already with the braided brake lines because if these pads allow for any more bite, it's probably just going to allow the ABS to engage sooner, which is still going to hinder my stopping abilities unless I put race tires on. So we're going to put the stop tech pads on here and drive them around for a week or two, make sure they're broken in and nice and ready to go. And then we'll do another 60 to zero and see what the result is. So I don't think I need to show you how to do the brake pads in this car. I mean, we have a thousand brake videos already online, but actually doing the front pads is really difficult just because of the clips. But here are just the old crappy pads. No idea how many miles are on them. They're just, they appear to be your typical standard brake pad. And here are the new stop tech. They don't look any different, but they're stop tech performance street pads. Um, so we already have this side complete. As soon as we finish the other side, we'll take this thing out for more brake testing after we drive the car for about a week. So in the next clip, you will see us doing a 60 to zero with stop tech pads. Okay, so we got the braided brake lines on and the stop tech performance street pads. We're gonna do another 60 to zero to see if anything happened. Um, I'm thinking that the engineer that I spoke to at stop tech is gonna be correct on this. Your car is only gonna stop as short as your ABS will let you which is also at the mercy of your tire. So even if these brake pads had a million times better bite, I don't think it's gonna stop any shorter, but we're gonna go find out. So uh, we're pretty much at the finish line right here. I'm gonna go turn around and do another 60 to zero and see how short we stop or how far we stop, whatever. The results are in. That was exactly 117 feet again, the same exact distance as last time with just the braided brake lines. So now we're gonna head back to the shop, install our performance brake rotors, and do our final test to see if there's any difference at all. All right, so we're back at the shop and we are taking off our old factory rotors which are still hot from driving because I've done this so quick and we are going to put on our fancy dancy slotted rotors which probably will not help our braking performance at all. Yay! All right so we're here for the final test we got the braided brake lines, the performance pads, and the slotted performance rotors. We're going to do our final 60 to 0 and see if there's any improvement. Wish me luck. Seatbelt. Seatbelt. Hey, man. Floor it. Probably going to stall it. Out here. Those new rotors are smelling pretty stinky. Yeah, they are. We are at about right now 112 feet. Wow, look at them smoking. That's crazy. Oh, they are smoking. Yeah. Yeah, smoking brakes. So, what did we learn in this video? Other than that, I hate doing brakes on a Subaru, and this is probably the least favorite car I've ever owned. By, to date now so 112 feet with rated brake hoses performance street pads and slotted performance rotors that is only two feet better than the factory um, five feet better than the previous run which an overall difference of five feet and two feet I'm gonna say the variable in all of this is me um, going at 60 miles an hour I can imagine that I would have a two to five foot difference in where I would hit the brake pedal every time. Even having half a mile an hour or a mile an hour off on the speed is definitely a factor too. But I think it shows 
in my opinion, for this car. I think it shows that doing all the brake upgrades for this car for 60 to zero isn't really beneficial for this. Now, from talking to the engineer at Stoptech when I told him what I was doing, you know, I think he's absolutely right. He told me that the car's only gonna allow you to stop as quickly as the ABS will let you. And, you know, we've definitely witnessed that. The very first test, the ABS did not lock up. The second, third, or the second, third, and fourth test, the ABS locked up every time. This one probably being the most extreme with the ABS, as you heard the tires screeching. Um, but that's because the tires. So it is showing, with the ABS locking up more, it's showing that there's, there's more power and grip on the brakes, but the car is not able to hold traction, and that is because of the tires. So to reap the benefits of all these brake upgrades, you're probably gonna need a wider tire or a better tire. So this whole video was about, is it worth it to upgrade the brakes on your street car? Cause this Subaru is my daily driver. I drive it to work every day. It's not gonna see a track. I didn't need to put race pads on it. And I wanted to see if doing all this was gonna benefit me. Cause you know, I don't need to reduce brake fade. And I know this test didn't cover brake fade, which is a big deal in racing, but not on the street. I'm not gonna be racing around back roads in this car. So fade is not important to me. What is important is stopping distance because if I'm driving on the highway and a deer runs out in front of me or if some asshole slams on the brakes, I wanna know that I have time and I'm not gonna hit him. And that's why I did these upgrades and judging from our tests here, I don't think it helped um, because the ABS. If I wanted to reap these benefits, I think I would need better tires, which I'm not going with any more expensive tires than what I have. I have pretty good all seasons. I'm not gonna put an expensive set of summer tires or racing tires on here, because that's not what this car is for. Another thing is, it's very possible that the brakes on this car were engineered to the limit for the car. You know, it does have dual piston front calipers, and it's got four wheel discs, and they're pretty stout. But on other cars, it might not be the same, like my Sentra, I had a stopping distance of 114 feet, I believe, stock in my Sentra. I think it was something like that. Then I put the Z32 calipers on, and that shaved like 20 feet off the braking distance. Now, that's showing that the brakes were not engineered to the limit of the car. And even with the Brembo's on, it wasn't locking up. So every car is going to be different, but if you have a 2006 Legacy GT like I have, then upgrading the brakes might not be that beneficial to you. Um, but don't take my opinion for it. You can form your own opinion off all the information you found in this video And I'm sure engineering explained has a video on it as well He does great videos all the time about this kind of stuff. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something and I will see you next time and Now I know that I wasted a couple hundred dollars on brakes on this car for nothing But you learned something maybe See ya. Subscribe bitches